Check one, two, hello. Is anybody there? Hello and happy Tuesday. Wait, is today Tuesday? Wait, shit, what's today? <clears throat> Thursday. You seriously lose track of the days? Like, retired people lose track of the time all the time. And then people that work for themselves, if you don't have clients, lose track of time all the time. Because, like, my weekend, I'll work through the weekend, and then sometimes I'll take, like, Tuesday or Wednesday off to go visit family or whatever. It just screws me up so bad. I seriously thought it was Tuesday. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you guys for being here. We're going to be checking out the Celasta DLC Palace of Ice tonight. Pretty excited. It's been a long time. I don't, I don't even remember how to play Celasta. I don't even remember what happened in the campaign. But according to this website right here, we should be able to continue our characters from our first run. So that should be pretty sweet. Palace of Ice DLC content. Palace of Ice campaign is now available in single and multiplayer, a level 10 to 16 adventure. That should be really interesting. I wonder how Tactical Adventures is going to handle those high level spells. That'll take 25 hours to finish. Added save file import for Palace of Ice campaign. Characters need to be level 12 or below and have no custom items. Added the gnome and tiefling to character creator. Interesting. I don't think I'm going to do that, though, because I'd like to continue my characters. Added snowy forest, dwarven interior, dwarven outdoor, and mountain cave. To the dungeon maker. Added palace of ice monsters to the dungeon maker. New musical tracks to the dungeon... Wow, they've added a lot to the dungeon maker. I might have to actually check that out sometime. And added 30 achievements for palace of ice. Okay. To the tavern, and let's jump right in and have a good night tonight. The Volk, Angie, Shannon, Anonymous, hello, Rick, Dragon Pink, good evening. Flemish says, hi, Wolfie. You get this DLC for free if you already have Celasta. I don't think it's free, but I don't know, because I got it for free. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done too much research on this. You know, as a as a CRPG content creator, I should probably know that stuff, but honestly, I have no idea. I'm assuming it costs money. It seems like a pretty gigantic campaign. There we go. Volk Nasty says it's $14.99. Why would I do research when I got you guys in the chat to do it for me? You know what I'm saying? Work smarter, not harder. Skull. What's up, Richard? God of Chaos. Blue-Eyed Raven. Volk said he was deep into War Tales campaign, so you're going to wait a few weeks, Volk, until you jump into this? As long as you beat it before BG3, you should be fine. Okay, let's begin, shall we? Hello, Atanas. Unpaid interns. <laughs> if you own the original, Steam has a discount to add to this DLC. Yeah, I, okay, they do have like a they have like a package deal or something where you can get it. For, oh my god, my coffee! That almost went right over the player's handbook. Holy crap! Okay, here we go. Should we have ran through the main campaign prior to playing the DLC? Probably, but I thought I read before that like, you didn't necessarily have to, but it is a continuation of the story, but you don't have to. So you can start a custom party right off the bat at level 10 to 12, but uh, let's check it all out right now. So let's see what we got to do. Palace of Ice. In this adventure that follows on from the events of Crown of the Magister, our four heroes from the Principality of Mazgarth pursue their destiny in the frozen lands of the Snow Alliance. <clears throat> Let me create a character real fast just because I want to see what they added. Hey, look at the tiefling. Cool, man. Oh, I missed the music in this game. Good times. Look at the tail. Dragonborn. The Dragonborn came into being as a fruit of the alliance of polymorph dragons with humanoid lineages. Oh shit, I don't have the inner strength DLC? I thought I could have sworn. Maybe I didn't download it or something. I did play the jungle DLC. I forget the name of it though. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. And I'm going to go to import save. And there it is. Oh my gosh. These are from... 2021 6 9. 
that was a long time ago. And it looks like the jungle DLC, the name is escaping me right now, does not play a part in the campaign. So that seems to be completely separate. Hey, look, Vork. Some of these fa some of these save file names, I actually remember making them. And we got a Baraz save file too. But this appears to be my last save of the initial Crown of the Magister campaign run. And there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you guys Duck Rivers, a level 10 Paladin, Dip Forge Hand, level 10 Cleric, Dodge, Sturdy Branch, level 10 Ranger, and Dive, Wild Wind, level wit level level wizard 10 shock arcanist let's begin dodge duck dip dive and dodge i miss these guys good times okay uh how do we start now duck dip dodge and dive warning this is a high level campaign for adventurers level 10 to 12. you can import lower level characters which will go through level up process at the start of the game Okay, this is a sequel to Crown of the Magister, so if you've played it, you can import your save and witness the consequences of your actions. Stay in the light. Let's begin. Oh, wrong button. Excuse my voice tonight, I've been recording all day and it's starting to go out on me. I feel like I say that every stream, but it's true. We're going to be navigating a snowy terrain, it appears. The Palace of Ice. Do, 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 do. Probably north of Mazgar. You can dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. What's up, Shinobi? Previously in Crown of the Magister. Yes! Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the council wherever you go. I swear. I swear. Her Royal Highness has a busy schedule. They were Sorax, our attackers. Not scavengers, not bandits. Sorax. Bring us the head of a Sorak for the whole council to see. They so happy. Easily. Oh, there's they a recap. Just like we do. There's something else. A crown? Yes. This is indeed the crown of the Magister. Got some clipping going on. Belonging to Kaysenax, eternal soul of the eight traditions. Adrastea, the prudent shield. Oh. Master of abjuration. In your debt. Yes, I and remember. At your service. I feel your spirit in the crown, Kaysenax. The Magister is still in the crown? We're not at war yet. But Galavan's massing troops at the border. Bad news really does travel fast. The city's Imperial Gate. They're here. They're trying to get away with the crown. Look, the princess? The crown needs you. I felt it from the beginning. Kaysenax's spirit Zelda. calls for you to save him from the darkness. When you are ready, step onto the gate and fulfill your destiny. I was right about you. I must go now. Take care of the monster. Take care of your world. That's awesome that they gave us a recap. With the rift closed, Sortar, the Sorak god, still on Termar, and his hordes of minions were no longer a threat. The heroes were celebrated throughout the Principality of Mazgarth and beyond. The Council of Ker Kiflin, is that how you pronounce it? Named them Heroes of Celasta. My surgery got delayed until June 27th. I saw somebody ask that in the chat. I might have to delay it even more because there's a... I can't talk about it right now. But there's something going on in the gaming industry that I might have to attend and it is worth delaying the surgery. Let me put it that, that way. Starting at level 10, actually, Snorrison. I think you can start at level 12, but I'm only level 10, so... Yeah, that was the recap of the original game. Hello, everyone, and thank you guys for being here. Appreciate you guys hitting that thumbs up button. 
Thank you very much. Yeah, there's a ton of DLCs for this game. The heroes of the Rift are on their way to the Anarium. They have been invited by Marshal Sunblaze, who seemed particularly worried in the letters he sent to them. After one last night on the road, they wake up less than a day's walk from their destination. Shout out to Tactical Adventures for allowing us to progress onto the next scene. Don't you guys hate games that do it automatically and you don't get time to read it? <clears throat> Morning, everyone. So here we are. Just a few more hours and we'll be able to sleep in a bed. Well, the Anarium is basically a church, not a hostel. I don't think Beric Sunblaze and his paladins sleep on the ground, though. Come on, pack your stuff. Let's not linger. I miss this I still game. don't understand why we're not in Gallivan looking for what's left of the Sorax. Marshal Sunblaze is obsessed with them. I'm pretty sure he wants to tell us about them. We'll know what he wants soon enough. All right, gather your stuff. Not sure Duck which rivers. one is mine. I'll pick one at random. Hey, nobody touches my underwear. No chance of that. D Duck Rivers is such I, I might name my paladin in Baldur's Gate 3 Duck Rivers. It is such a classic name and I absolutely love it. It's a redneck paladin, man. You gotta respect it. Okay, now bear with me, everyone. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've played Celasta. I don't really remember too much, so it's gonna take a little bit here to get used to things. Let me, uh, what do we got here? So we got a primary, secondary, a torch, attack, cast spell, use power. Okay, cautious mode. Okay, use power is like our channel divinities. Got our four characters right here. Um, oh yeah, we have the ration system and all that stuff too. Journal. Check your gear. You're almost at Inarium. Gear up and hit the road. Your equipment is stored in the chests near the campfire. Now, please do note that I am playing... I don't think I'm playing on version 1.0 right now. Because Tactical Adventures gave me an early copy of this, which is before 1.0, but my Celasta never updated. So keep that in mind. I didn't have time to figure it out because I was trying to get a video. I'm going to be dropping a Baldur's Gate 3 video tomorrow. And then I got to start working on the Sunday lore series. I threw in an extra video for this week, so it's kind of strapped for time. So, Okay, so let's go ahead and check our gear here. How are we doing for volume levels? I think we're pretty good. What's up, Chris? This game came out a couple years ago, believe it or not. Really good game based on 5th edition rules and mechanics. Actually, if you're excited for Baldur's Gate 3, playing Celasta is a great way to, to learn the rules and mechanics without having to play Baldur's Gate 3's early access. Oh my god, no, that's not what I wanted to see. No, are you kidding me? Oh, shite. You, Tactical Adventures didn't even organize my inventory? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, that's not good. That is a horrible start to the stream right there to see that. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. All right. Um, We might be dumping a bunch of stuff on the ground here just to start new. This is crazy. All right. So we got our arrows. This character doesn't even use arrows. So let me send it to my buddy Dodge here. Dodge is the worst archer to set foot in the world of Celasta. You guys will see soon enough. Dodge likes to miss 90% of his shots. But during a pressure situation, when it really matters, he always hits it. That 20. Guaranteed. Alright, we got thieves tools. I got rations. Looks like my encumbrance is none on this character. We have some scrolls of guiding bolt. Let me send that to... This game is really big on preparing your inventory before you start a combat encounter because it costs actions if you want to do it during combat. I do remember that I have the bag of holding, order staff I probably don't need. So let's start moving. Some things around here. Okay, that's not too, too bad. Check dip forge hand. Jeez, I got scrolls everywhere. Holy crap. Raise the dead. Battle axe. Okay, and he's using a crossbow, so we can leave those right here. I 
think we just got to go for it. Probably sell those or drop them. I'm going to drop a few of these maces. I'm going to drop that too. Kind of clear things out a little bit. Encumbrance is none, so that's perfect. I'll save the magic axe. Can't stack more than five, I guess. Scroll of Ray's dead. All right. Okay, and then Duck Rivers, man. Duck Rivers. America. Duck Rivers likes to say, America. Ooh. We still have to pick up stuff from the chest, too. So this is going to be crazy. My inventory is going to fill up even more. Let's get rid of this staff. Let's get rid of this torch. Let's get rid of this magnificent dagger. Get rid of the breastplate. Don't need it. Silver ring? We'll put it on, sure. It doesn't even have any benefits to it. I have a temple key. I don't think I need that anymore. Some crafting supplies. Scroll of Ray's dead. Probably have way too many of those now. I'm actually going to drop those. I know. Oh, actually, maybe I can stack them. Hold on. Let me see if I can stack those. Oh, okay, I did stack. It stacked automatically. Um, We might need a candle, possibly for light. Light is a big thing in this game. I can't believe Tactical Adventures has started me off with having to organize my inventory. One out of ten. <laughs> Oh, God. Silver brooch. All right. One more character. I know we have a reorder, but I'm trying to see what I can actually get rid of. Adventures, wizard's clothing. So we don't need that. Okay, let's go ahead and start picking things up. What's up, Tardis? We brought back Dip, Duck, Dive, and Dodge. Hey, Jacob, what's up? Yeah, the fast travel system is kind of neat in this game. Not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. What do we got here? Oh my god. Bruh, these weapons are. Woo! What did I just pick up? Picked up a heavy crossbow, so we're not using that with him. Let me give that to... I think Dip is using the heavy crossbow, so we'll give him that. Look at the stats on this thing. Oh, it's not... It's just a plus one. Never mind. It's the sword that had the special stats. Look at this right here. 2d6 plus one plus 1d8 radiant damage. That's pretty crazy. It's a gr oh oh yeah yeah it's a great sword so let's go ahead and swap that out because right now I have oh I, I already have it Give me a second, y'all. We got to do some inventory management here. One D eight plus one, one D ten lightning damage. That is insane. The Bracers of Archery requires attunement. Okay, so that happens when we rest, so we'll put that on. Medium armor plus one. Breastplate plus one. AC 15, 14 plus one, dex bonus. AC 15, 14 plus one, max two. AC is currently at 17. Stays at 17 with, oh dude, that is pretty sick though. Holy crap, that's awesome. And then we put potions down here. Okay, great. Let me make sure everybody has a potion on them. I remember that was a really big thing. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 
not proficient. It doesn't even matter because I'm not using it. Nobody else is using crossbows. We got to fix up her encumbrance levels here a little bit. So let me take the crossbow bolts. We'll give it to him. Gets us down a little bit. We'll take the rations. We'll give it to him. Currently still at light. Almost down to light. We'll pass on those to him. This guy's a little bit up, so let's take some of those. And I might have to actually drop some rations. Holy crap. I think I have good berries, so I think I'd be okay, actually. Yeah, I can't carry anything else. Might have to get rid of some of these weapons, too. I think I'm fine with it. Oh, hold on. We got to switch out this. So we got the long sword. Yeah. That's amazing. Play armor 19, 20. So let's drop that because that's worth, that's heavy too. And then we'll drop. Ooh. The shield I have on right now, item functions, cast light at will, cast daylight every one day. Um, okay. And this is half plate medium armor. Let me just check that real fast. 15, 14 plus one, AC 17. They're really gearing us up right now. I feel like we're going to be into some, some crazy combat encounters right now. I'm not sure what Tactical Ventures is trying to tell me, but they're giving me some OP gear here. All right, we're going to drop that too. Okay, all my characters are currently in the Nun Encumbrance, which is perfect. I don't mind being in the light in this game, but every time you go up into a new one, it reduces your movement speed. If you're hev heavily encumbered, your speed is reduced by four squares. You can barely move, so I think we're good to go right now. Staff of Fire? What? Requires attunement. Okay. Cast Burning Hands. Cast Fireball three charges. Cast Wall of Fire. Effects on hit, 1d6. I think we're ready to uh, to set off on our adventure. What do you guys say? One, oh, one of my crossbow users has arrows in his ready slot. Okay, let me take a look real fast. Um, Yeah, you're right. Okay, so let's take... Let's see, what do I got? I got these crossbow bolts, and we got poison flash bolts. Sure, we'll do that. Or we'll do that and we'll save those for backup thanks richard okay here we go and alt is the highlight objects oh i forget you can rotate the camera in this game i love crpgs that let you rotate the camera okay what do we got for a map okay looks like we're going over to this ruin site over here And then we have the Crouch Cautious. The inscription on this long forgotten statue is eroded by time and overgrown with moss. It looks like a vestal of Einar, erected to proclaim that this land was under the protection of the Inarium. Bandits! I gotta turn that up, or how's the volume sound right now? Story itself is lacking, yet it's still a great game. Yeah, I think I generally agree. I didn't mind the story, but I understand. What's up, Michael? Crown campaign is okay. I had a great time uh, in the Crown of the Magister campaign. I mean, yeah, the story is not like the most exciting thing you've ever played, but the gameplay mechanics are so good in this game. All right, what do we have here? We have a bandit archer, 78 HP. We have a smasher and three archers. Okay, I think I can handle this. Let's see what we got here. Looks like first up is dodge, our level 10 ranger. Let me see if I can remember what we have here. Animal friendship, goodberry, jump, silence, conjure animal. Conjure one beast, conjure two beasts, or conjure four beasts. Is 
Is there a guy over here too? There is. Natura Conjo Viribe. Yep, this DLC is a continuation of the Crown of the Magister campaign. And then a little tactic that you can use in this game is switch. So in Baldur's Gate 3, when you switch off of your shield, it doesn't actually change your armor class. In Celasta, it does. So if I go ahead and switch to my main hand here with my Ranger, my AC goes up to 21 and increases by 2, and I can still move too. So let's go ahead and move... Probably take a little bit of cover. Um, or I could try for the high ground. Ooh, if I had dash, I would go for the high ground. A little bit worried about that. Let's go right here. Just gotta remember to switch it back. Nice. 13 piercing damage. Hallelujah. That guy looks like my own archer. Must be related to dodge. Yeah, there's one behind me. This brings me Divinity Original Sin 2 vibes. Can't say I've, I've heard anyone ever say that about Celasta. But hell yeah, that's awesome. Both great games. Alright, now we got my Paladin. Protection versus good and evil, cure wounds, detect magic, heroism, burning hands, bless, bane, aid, lesser restoration, scorching ray, create food, dispel magic, and fireball. I forgot I took fireball with this guy. They have some funky subclass choices in this game. Alright, let's see what I should do here. I think I'm going to put two guys on this guy in the back, and then this guy is going to... Looks like I can't run up anywhere. Um, let's go ahead and move to right here. We'll block him in, and then I'll cast a spell too. We'll go with Scorching Ray. Arun, evil Malmis. Oh, you have them now. Okay, not the best, but whatever. At least I did something. All right, a level 10 Wizard Shock Arcanist. Oh, this guy's prone right here. Um, maybe I'm, I'm gonna take a shot at this guy, I think. See if I have Magic Missile, I should have it. And I'm gonna upcast it. Oh my god. I'm gonna upcast it to level 5. This is gonna be crazy. Watch how many missiles come out of this. Eight Magic Missiles. Oh, I missed the sound effects in this game. What's up, Leda? Thank you for the $5 super chat. I appreciate you, Leda. Love Celasta. I learned how to play a sorcerer from Celasta. Easy to understand. That's what I'm saying. Those of you guys that don't want to play Baldur's Gate 3's early access, or those of you that want to experience the higher level classes, because BG3's early access level cap is currently at 5. Play Celasta. You can get all the way up to level 16. Get a little head start on your knowledge for BG3. Thanks a lot, Leda. Some of the subclasses were fan suggestions. Yeah, I remember when they did that, when they announced that they were taking suggestions. All right, we got to get behind some cover now. I'm thinking actually, I'm actually going to move back here. Um, I don't know if that's out of his range. I'm going to go to right here. All right, now we have my level 10 battle cleric. And actually, what I should do with him is probably cast Bless. I forgot I had a Cleric, so let's see if I have Bless. I do. Cast it with a level 2. Perfect. Sound effects are so old school. Alright, and then we'll push on towards the front lines. Ooh. 
Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Yeah, Celasta is on Game Pass. True. I would love to see a breakdown of like how much companies make with their games on Game Pass versus selling it not on Game Pass. Or you can do it both. Celasta does it both ways. All right, let's take a shot at this archer back here. I'm going to switch to my bow and our AC is going to drop to 17. I do have spells, but we'll just take a regular shot at the step out, though. And I should have multi-attack or extra attack. Excuse me. No nice. Given. Nice. I almost don't believe it. I can't believe that my the first shot I took with dodge actually landed. That's incredible. I shit you not, he has like a 20% accuracy. Must be a changed man. Then we'll go right back behind cover. Ooh, that was a hell of a shot right there. I would love to be a solid archer IRL. I'm gonna start training. After I get my knee surgery, I'm going to become an archer. Actually, maybe I don't need my Shake knee surgery. Off. Nah, you probably got to take like a strong stance when you're shooting bows. Hello, Zoe. Thank you for the five pound super chat. Sorry I'm late. Fell asleep. Just woke up in time to catch this. Well, welcome to the stream and good morning to you. Can't wait to bring my old Celasta party back. I know, right? Isn't that hype? It's so cool to bring back a, a party that you ran with a couple years ago. All right, let's go ahead and try to finish this guy off. And I think I'll probably just do a regular two-handed attack and then maybe Divine Smite. Oh, yeah. Level one Divine Smite. This guy's almost dead, so one more attack should do it. Come on! What? Are you shitting me right now? One of my favorite things ever in a DD video game is using magic missile on multiple opponents. So useful. You're just trying to finish off an enemy instead of having to use an entire attack on them. Arcane Fury, add your proficiency bonus and intelligence bonus to your evocation spell damage for one minute. Should have done that before I cast the magic missile, but that's alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and... I'll tell you what we're about to do. I wonder if I can get a fireball on multiple levels here. Yes, I can. You guys ready for this? You ready for the first fireball of Celasta and certainly not the last? <laughs> 27 fire damage and 13 fire. Not too shabby. The second guy succeeded on a dexterity saving throw, so half damage. Good day, Maverick. I have to finish my BG2 run before I go on to the next CRPG, and then Diablo 4 is on its way. Yeah, Diablo 4 is probably going to take up a good chunk of time before BG3 comes out, especially if you're into the endgame activities. Yeah, this game is available on... Hold on, let me search for you right now. Yep, it should be available on console as well. I apologize. Like I said, I should look up all this before I start streaming a game so then I can answer those questions, but I was in a rush today, so. Zoe, thank you for the one gifted membership in Cernunos, the man, the myth, the legend. Even though I don't think you're a man. <laughs> 
Thanks, Zoe. Welcome, Sarah Nunos. On my channel, everybody's a man, a myth, and a legend, okay? It doesn't matter what you actually are. Yes, I am going to play Rogue Trader. Absolutely. I'm excited for that. Damn, dude. Dodge must have been taking steroids in his break. Holy crap. He hasn't missed a shot yet. That's incredible. Oh, shit. I forgot about this guy back there. My horn's getting away. I haven't installed on my Series X, but not got into it yet. But what are you waiting for, Leon? I don't think animals can climb in this game like they can in Baldur's Gate 3. Use a cantrip this time. Oh, I can't see. All right, it's all coming back to me. Damn, 18 for the Firebolt? That's insane. Because of that Arcane Fury. Twenty-four HP. Hold on, I gotta finish off this this other guy. Now it looks like the wolf. Well, I think I'm good. Let's go ahead and do a phantasmal killer. Causes psychic damage to the target creature with each turn, unless a saving throw is successful or the effect ends. Stone skin grants resistance to non-magical bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing damage. You know what's funny is barbarians get that as a class feature. Bear Barbarians get that as a class feature. When you're raging, you get resistance to those types of damages. Okay, yeah, we'll do a magic missile. There's so many spells that I forgot about. Thanks, Kirby. Hey, David. I'm winning. I think so. The original crown campaign ended at 10. True. Very true. You know, Richard, you speak the truth quite often. You know that? You might be one of the most base people in this chat. Aw. My wolfie. That was pretty sick. I can't believe how good dodge is right now. And this doesn't even feel right. I'm rooting for my ranger to miss a few shots because that's more like him. This guy's pulling off shots like he's a sniper in the Navy SEALs. This is crazy. You'll die like the rest. I didn't expect an attack so close to the Inarium. They're in uniform. They're not bandits. Mercenaries from Galavan. So deep into the Principality's territory. Don't be fooled. They didn't come to invade. They came for us. Let's move. We need to speak to Marshal Sunblaze. How many of you guys in this chat were actually with me on my first run through Celasta when I played with this party? Those of you guys that were present for those streams, which was a couple of years ago now. Crazy how time flies. You guys would understand what I'm talking about when I talk about my ranger dodge. You were here, Michael? Well, damn, thanks for your long time support. I'm running a wizard, paladin, cleric, and shit. What am I running? Paladin, cleric, ranger, and wizard.
Nice. Tutorial difficulty warning. This new campaign is mainly aimed at experienced Celasta players. I guess they really are pushing you to play the campaign before you jump into this. If you're a beginner or you want to refresh your memory, don't hesitate to consult the tutorials in the journal section. Once you leave, you'll not be able to return for your remaining equipment. Make sure you have taken everything you might need in order to continue with the best setup. I like that they give us a tutorial for those of us that haven't played in a long time. I think the game offers four-player co-op. There's no matchmaking, though. You have to play with people that you know. How do you get into the Rogue Trader Clothes beta? Um, I think you have to pre-order... Pre-order or buy, like, a certain package that Owlcat offers or something like that. Marshal Barrack Sunblaze asked you to meet him in the Inarium Abbey. I don't think I need any more rations, so I'm going to stop picking those up for now. As imposing a majestic statue of the divine warrior stands tall and proud in full plate armor, holding a shield emblazoned with fiery cross. A feeling of surety emanates from its presence. Oh, I just did a passive religion check. The book lies open at a fascinating page, drawing on your knowledge of religious and literature, the observations and information it contains. Oh, that's great. Our most enlightening monograph of the priests of Einar. I think I have to go through this door right here, but let me check over here real fast. Gotta take my time and make sure I remember all the mechanics. Yes, this is the start of the DLC. I just exited the tutorial. My friends, it is so good to see you again. Likewise, Marshal. We came as fast as we could. Great, thanks. You must have many questions. But something came up that I have to take care of, right away. You've been traveling all day. You should take a rest. We'll talk tomorrow morning. Fine. Where can we set up camp? Ah, you're pulling my leg, aren't you? We have a room set aside for you. Please, make yourselves comfortable. Thank you, Marshal. I remember this game having a pretty good sense of humor. Seems like the DLC is going to have it as well. Shy Violet, hello. How are you? This game plays similar to BG3. In many ways, yes. In other ways, no. But overall, yes. In terms of the rules and mechanics and type of spells that you have, like it's similar. BG3 definitely feels different, and there's a lot of variations to the 5th edition rules and mechanics. But generally speaking, if you learn Celasta, you'll catch on to BG3 very, very quickly. And vice versa, too. Even though it'd be a little bit harder to learn Celasta. Shy wife. How's the shop going, Shy? How's your brother? Does your brother still come on streams with you?
game is relaxing. I like the music. Well, this is pretty. Reminds me of the library in the Crown of the Magister campaign a little bit. Thor has been busy. Thankfully and unthankfully. True. Totally understand you, Shy. Well, good to hear, though. Rather you say that than not busy. Surviving the Great White. I don't think I'm in a book reading mood right now, to be honest with you. I don't care nearly as much about the lore of Celasta as I do. Baldur's Gate 3. The harrowing story of a zombie horde sweeping away the clans of the Snow Alliance. Dead Island 2, nice. Okay. I have to attune my bracers. There's a lot of systems in this game that are a lot more hardcore when compared to Baldur's Gate 3. I think most of the things that Larian left out probably a good call on Larian's part. Because Larian doesn't want their game to feel like a hardcore experience where people have to like, you know, study a book to learn how to play it. But I also like that we have the option to have systems like this in Celasta. Nice to have both games. So we're going to go ahead and attune to those. Let me check my other items. Zoe, thank you for the five pound super chat. Unfortunately, I got to go. It's 10 to one in the morning. I might be getting fired from work. Well, don't be donating to me. So goodbye, Wolf and Wolfpack. Goodbye, Zoe. I hope that doesn't happen. Let us know how it goes tomorrow, okay? I'll probably be live tomorrow night. If all y'all are wondering, I'm going to skip the day stream because I have a video coming out. And I'll probably play Salasta again. Although, Lord of the Rings Gollum has now released. It looks like crap, but I was thinking about playing it anyways, just for shits and giggles. And I love Lord of the Rings stuff, so we'll see. Alright, what do we got here? I don't think I have to change anything. Magic weapon. Oh, my paladin's Oath of the Motherland subclass has fireball prepared for me at all times. That is OP. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. I was about... Okay. Mass healing word. We got access to that in Baldur's Gate 3 at level 5. Death Ward protects the creature once against instant death or being reduced to zero hit points. Hopefully we get that spell in BG3. Mass Cure Wounds and Flame Strike conjures a burning column of flame and radiance affecting all creatures inside. Scene. Reviewed worse than Redfall? I'm not sure. I haven't looked at any reviews. I'm going to try not to. If I end Here up playing are. it, I'd rather go in with an Marshall, open mind. it's a pleasure to see you again. Same wise, my friends. I called upon you not as a member of the Legacy Council, but as a Keeper of the Light in front of darkness. A Keeper of the Light in front of darkness. This is actually something that BG3 could take from Celasta. Granted, when BG3 implements things, it requires like way more changes to the coding and everything. There's a million things that you have to change when you change one thing in BG3, so it's a lot more complicated. But I like how in this game, you can choose whatever companion you want to answer with. How's the situation with Galavan? How are things going with the Kingdom of Galavan? It is not an all out war yet just skirmishes on the border. I hear they are also attacking the lands of the Snow Alliance. Actually, some of their mercenaries attacked us on our way here. Really? That's another sign of their ties to the Sorax. Your targets now. Don't worry about us. Sorax triggered the war? Is it confirmed that Sorax control the Kingdom of Galivan? There is not much space for doubt anymore. Though we do not know how they do it exactly. Corruption, coercion, or plain replacement. I also forgot I don't have to narrate my answers in this game because there's voice acting for everything. You'll keep the crown of the Magister on display here. 
Exactly. Even if it's just an old relic now. It serves our task as guardians of the memory of Celasta. After all we did to close the rift, to think they're still around. That's really depressing. You did prevent a massive invasion. Without you, we wouldn't be here anymore. Which is why I asked for your help. You must remember when the Antiquarians left the Legacy Council as the war started. Yet the Church of Anar has ties with the Snow Alliance. One of our renowned clerics, Vigdis Kaikonen, belongs to one of their oldest clans. While she was here in the Anarium, her father was found dead. Do you think the Sorax aim to take over the Snow Alliance like they did Galavan? It is their way. Therefore, yes, I am afraid so. The difference is that now we know they are here and how they operate. What can you tell us about Vigdis? Well, she is an experienced battle cleric from the Order of the Shield. She took part in multiple expeditions to the Badlands. She is wise, strong, a paragon of our creed. How do you tie this death to the Sorax? Lord Kaikonen was kidnapped kept in a hidden house, and notes had been taken on his behavior, his way of speaking, his taste in food. So they could learn to mimic him? It looks like it. One of his captains found him. He killed a couple of Sorax, but sadly, the Lord could not be resurrected. We have to go and investigate. We can't have the Principality surrounded by Sorak puppets. Lady Vigdis and her escort leave for home tonight. I would feel more comfortable if you could be with her. They could be after her, too. And possibly the other clan chiefs. The politics of the Snow Alliance are complicated. You will have to swim with sharks. I think we can deal with that. We survived the Legacy Council, after all. I am sure of that. You are heroes of Masgarth. Your reputation precedes you, and your mission is sacred. Let no one keep you from your duty. You can count on us, Marshal. I shall keep you informed of the political situation. Letters from the Inarium always find their destination. I would ask you to keep me updated of your progress in return, if you please. Of course. Thank you. Stay in the light. Duck Rivers, at your service, sir. Duck Rivers. Get her done. Lady Vigdis is waiting for you in the gardens. Can I take the crown? Should I try to quick? Can you F5 in this game? Yes, you can. Let me try to take this crown. Give it back to me. I miss that crown. Its power was reassuring. I remember you guys well, were making fun of me when I put the crown out. Without the gems. Still, it's a reminder of our old journey. From That's the nice. To peers of the principality. You do look older for sure. I don't remember party banter like that in the original campaign. Am I going crazy or was that not really a thing? Voice acting for most of the dialogue should be mandatory in games. Yep, there are pre-made characters, Samantha. There's a lot of them. Okay, so now we gotta go talk to Vigdis. Get acquainted with Vigdis Kaikonen in the Abbey's Gardens. Skies, heroes of the rift. Clear skies. Lady Vigdis, our condolences for your father. Looks like I'm wearing Master Thank Chief you. armor. I appreciate it. Also, Marshal Sunblaze oh, insisted that I wait for you to return home. I hope it's not too much bother. We're after Sorax, and if they're scheming in the Snow Alliance, that's where we're headed. Of course. We need all the help we can get. We don't know much about your country. What can you tell us? Well, it's cold. Ah. I hope you brought some warm clothes. Always trust a dwarf. Which do people prefer, voiced MC or silent MC? You know, I feel like I'm leaning towards silent, but maybe voiced if we have like an ample amount of voice options to choose from, but I don't know. I think I'm okay with both. I kind of like when they're silent though, because then you can just kind of picture the voice in your own head. 
So I'm leaning towards silent, but I'm okay with both. A game like The Witcher, where you have an established protagonist, definitely prefer voiced. But a game where you make a custom character, I think I'm okay with silent. I seem to remember that the antiquarians are from the Snow Alliance. But what's the political stance of the country? The Alliance is one of the three nations surrounding the Principality of Maskarth. We feared the new empire might attack to take the Copperhead Road, but instead it was Galavan. We owe that to the Sorax, I suppose. We would have supported you against the new empire, but Galavan... This war divided us. We were not ready for a threat on the Eastern Front. And yet, many of us still want to be friends with the Principality. She got pretty sick armor. How was the Snow Alliance founded? After humans arrived here, from the Rift, the Snow Dwarves were already providing shelter for the Sylvan Elves. So it was decided to officialize an alliance against the Manakalan Empire. So it's not just a nation of Dwarves? We are the most numerous, but no. There are human clans and elven clans. I always love the calm before the storm, before you set off on your adventure. Who's the leading figure in the Alliance? Power is divided between the clans, and decisions are made in our parliament. There are a handful of great houses, families, who generally lead the clans. My house, Kaikonen, runs one of the five major clans, the Guardians of the South. Etelen Vartmekint, in Dwarfish. Please don't ask me to repeat that. <laughs> it gets worse. Our capital city is Varkarokapun, which means White Rock City. I think we'll stick to White City. <laughs> That'll do. White City? Well, thank you for enlightening us, Lady Victis. You know, you don't have to call me Lady. You're heroes. I'm just a young cleric. Some of us believe in the idea of nobility, my lady. But we can make an effort for you, Victus. I see. Don't let me disturb your group's harmony. I'll wait for you outside. Just tell me when you're ready to go. Up, Zephiel. Understandable. Rich families lead the different countries. Why does this feel familiar? Hey, yeah. Uh, it's me, Himawen. The bad lip sync reminds me of little old kung fu movies. Yeah, Tactical Adventures didn't have the biggest budget ever, but with what they have, they did a pretty incredible job. Okay, so the journey to Kakapugi will be long. Make sure you have everything you need. Bigness is waiting for you near the road. Join her once you're ready to leave. More inventory management? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? More inventory management? I am the worst at inventory. Any of you guys bad at inventory management? Pretty organized IRL, but... In video games? I hoard a lot of shite. Right, we're going to go on a massive selling spree because I think I have pretty good equipment right now. Um, I have all the new equipment. Yep. Oh, no, hold on. Wait, what is this right here? That is AC3 plus one. Hold on. Where's my other? This one is... Oh, you got to tune that. Unbelievable. Okay, we'll leave that. We're gonna sell all that. We're gonna do some. Nope, I don't think I need that. Lightbringer short sword, 1d8. Endless quiver. Ooh, generate 20 arrows. Oh, I already have a quiver. Hold on. I already have that. Okay, let's go ahead and sell it then. Probably grab some health potions while we're here because it looks like I'm running kind of low. Yeah, let's do that. How you doing, brother? All right. Um, I can't remember how many rations it requires to rest, so I don't I don't want to sell any at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit! I have this right here. I didn't even realize that. 
Hold on. Um, I think you're supposed to identify the magical items too. One second. Let me go ahead and grab that. There we go. That helps a little bit. It was actually really nice. I actually don't mind inventory management, but when I'm streaming, I mind it. Just because I know all of you guys are staring at me right now. Are you guys staring at me while I'm trying to manage my inventory? Stop putting pressure on me, okay? Go, go away. Who do you guys think you are? Like I can tell you guys are staring at me right now. Stop it. I'm trying to think right now. Hey, what's up, Slandered? How are you, man? One of the new feats lets you auto-identify magical items in your inventory. I highly recommend picking it up. Interesting. That actually sounds quite nice. I don't know when I get another feat, though. But I'll keep an eye out for it. For all judging me? Yeah, I see. I told you guys. Did I come at a bad time? Yes, you did. Get the hell out of here. You're not welcome here. All right, I'm going to do something and you guys are going to you guys are going to frown upon this. But I honestly don't care. I am going to sell a shit ton of stuff and not even think twice about it. Because the peace of mind it will bring... Ooh, Staff of Healing. We'll save that. The peace of mind that this is about to bring me... Is going to make everything okay. Should probably drink those too. I think you can sell things for a higher amount depending on what character you're using, depending on your charisma modifier. But that's like, uh, I'm not interested in that. I'm not trying to haggle this guy. These guys are trying to make an honest living out here. I'm not going to sit there and try to, you know what I mean? Finesse the situation. I support blue collar workers. Although technically this wouldn't be blue collar. This would probably be, pro merchants would probably be white collar. 
Now, right, what does this guy sell? Well, nothing good, that's for sure. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. You guys ready? F5. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. Let me go ahead and just put a couple health potions on. Um, and then I'll catch up on the chat. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. We're going to send those to Duck Rivers. America. How you doing, man? Duck Rivers. Duck Rivers at your service. America. All right, you guys ready to head out? There's a specific druid subclass that specializes in using animal spirits to shift into different forms. They have so many cool subclasses in this game. Hey, what's up, Enzoville? How are you, man? Thanks for stopping in. Just caught your name at the tippity top of the chat. You should be donating to me now? Sure, man. Send me your PayPal. Shoot me an email. I'll donate to you. What do you want? I don't care. It says green paper. You know who cares? Hit me the tiger. My character is only level 10, Slander. Why were yours 12? Why were mine only level 10? Did I not play one of the DLCs? I feel like I'm at a disadvantage right now. Hey, Fate, what's up? Kakapuki. Okay. This fortified city on the border between the Snow Alliance and the Principality of Mazgarth is the home of Clan Kaikonen. They gotta stop throwing these crazy words at me. I'm not saying something I'm not supposed to say by accident. Ah, yes, the fast travel system. Completely forgot about this. You know what? If you don't live life on the edge, you don't take a little risk. What's the point of even living? Fast travel, here we go. Not gonna make any new races. I thought about making a Tieflings IFL, but you know, you, you, sometimes you just want to run with your party from the original campaign, so. Yes, you can, Mike. There's an import option when you first start up. What the hell are these guys doing? What are they doing? Sleeping for 12 hours? Ah, oh, shit. An old fortified bridge that used to control access to the Snow Alliance. Oh, here we go. You didn't play the Crown Campaign after the Lost Valley DLC. You didn't get the increase to 12. Oh. Oh, yeah, because they increased... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about. Tiefling face models are uh. Okay. That's what the Tieflings think about your face, Richard. Ambush! Sorax! Take cover! No, Look I'm called for, Richard. Caster. What the hell is going on right now? Oh shit. I don't know what to do. I'm I'm having a mind blank right now. This is too much pressure. This is crazy. Alright, hold on, we got this. I mean, clearly I'm gonna have to retreat right now. Like, what am I supposed to do? Charge this thing head on? Alright, let's go ahead and take... We're gonna take two shots. Let me see what I got. Actually, Conjure Animal. <laughs> Four beasts? We'll do one, two, three... Four. That's a hell of a play right there. Spiders. Aw, oh, shit. I should have done the wolves. Switch back to our sword and shield to get that plus two on AC, and let's go ahead and drop back a little bit. I am not going to die in this DLC, I'm telling you guys right now. All right, we got a... Oh, man, the Sauracop... Oh, yeah, the lizard men. I forgot about them. Um, You know, I could start off with a fireball, but it's like at the same time... You know what I do like about Baldur's Gate 3 is that you can change up the order of turns if you're in consecutive order and in the initiative order. I think that was genius out of Larian Studios. And it doesn't seem to like affect the game in a negative way allowing that. I love that they did that. Allows for a lot of cool synergies too. Oh, I could use haste actually. 
I'm gonna do haste on Duck Rivers. Get her done. Hey, Enzabel, how was, uh, I'm assuming, well, you're obviously back from Japan because you put out a video the other day. Assuming that that went well. Yeah, it's a really cool feature. You can even do like an action on one character, a bonus action on the other one, then switch back to the other one and move. Hit a creature, knock a creature prone, go back to the other character and walk away so you don't take an opportunity attack, like stuff like that. But they have to be in consecutive order. You can't just do it at any time. The mic. Ranger, Paladin, Wizard, and Cleric. Yep, exactly. Did the same thing except the Sorcerer instead of a Wizard. Nice. Meta magic for the win, right? You're either getting meta magic or you're getting pure versatility. It's a tough choice to make. All right, let's go ahead and send Duck Rivers up front line. Only problem I have is the spike. You know what I'm going to do? Hold on. Is there really only two? No, there's a Battle Mage. Where's the Battle Mage? Oh, bruh. You gotta be shiting me. What a little weenie baby. Are you kidding me? How do I get over there? I could fly over there, actually. Let's send Duck Rivers up to take care of this guy. Get a little cover from that wizard, too. Duck Rivers. Switch to, uh, oh, this is gonna be great. And I have haste right now. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is going to be incredible. No quarter given. Is there any point in me even playing this game, or should we just move on to the next one? Should I move on? You guys, should I go play Lord of the Rings Golem right now? We all know what's going to happen. Oh, shit. <sighs> just... Oh just wasted oh my god you gotta be kidding me what's up easy peach yeah paladins are sick probably in every game in existence oh i forgot you can hold actions and you can also dodge in this game those of you guys that are unfamiliar with the dodge action, a lot of us have been requesting it in BG3. Honestly, at this point, I don't even care if they don't put it in. I'm pretty used to having the game without it. But um, basically, if you want a better chance at dodging shit on your turn as opposed to attacking, because you're going to use up your action, you can use dodge on yourself. Any attack roll made against you has disadvantage if you can see the attacker and you make dexterity saving throws with advantage. It's been a while since I've read that. And we also have ready action in this game, so if you can't actually do what you want, you can ready up your sword or ready up your bow. And then when an enemy meets a certain condition, you'll get that attack later on in the round. So you don't end up, like, missing out on getting damage. Pretty cool, too. I don't think Larian's going to include that, though. All right, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? to get my palette in there, but whatever, it's all good. Battle Mage only has 44 HP. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I can't see that. What if I move to right here? I want to focus fire, but I feel like I could one-shot this battle mage back here. Oh, I can't even see the battle mage. Unbelievable. Okay, well in that case, move up a little bit. And I'm going to cast... Banishment. 
Banish a creature as long as you concentrate. The creature can be permanently banished if it's extra planar. That would actually be nice to use on her back here. But I don't have line of sight, so I can't. So in that case, you can't go wrong. Wait, could I do hold person on a lizard? No. You can't go wrong with a good old fashioned magic missile. What do you guys think about that? Pro plays? That's a pretty cool attack animation right there. 13 slashing damage from the Sora Path Abomination. I'm going to spread out a little bit. And actually, in this game, there's actually half cover and then three quarters cover too. And then full cover, of course. I can't tell if that's different right there. It looks like it's all... all Like this pillar right here, if it blocks anymore, it doesn't look like it does. We'll go behind it anyways. We want to spread out in case this wizard casts another fireball. We have 27 HP. Let's see what we got for powers. Arcane Fury. I feel like I don't... Oh no, we do have more Sora casts. I'm going to go ahead and cast Arcane Fury. Add your proficiency bonus and intelligence bonus to your evocation damage for one minute. And then we'll cast Magic Missile. And we'll back up a little bit too. Probably shouldn't group up, but. <laughs> Only way to go wrong with magic missiles is to roll a one on each die. Magic missile never misses. Yeah, Tactical Adventures is offering a nice package deal if you don't have the original game. Keep in mind, you can play this game on Game Pass, too, if you're strapped for cash. You can get, like, a month of Game Pass for a dollar if you do the trial month. You can play as many games as you want within that month. Just don't forget to cancel it when you're done. A smite level 2. Well struck. 6 HP. See ya. I love having a two-handed sword-wielding paladin. There's just something really satisfying about it. All right, now we got to get across. Oh, what the? Dude, I forgot these things climb on the walls. Kind of reminds me of Godzilla a little bit. Let's go ahead and... We're going to set up, like, Minas Tirith. The battle in Lord of the Rings. Or Faramir. He's defending it from the orcs when he dies. Spoiler alert for Lord of the Rings. And actually, if you haven't watched Lord of the Rings in this chat, then you don't belong here. And that's a fact. You know what I'm talking about? When they're setting up behind the walls and all the orcs come running. It's an iconic scene. All the orcs come running in and Faramir's standing there with his two-handed sword looking at his buddies. They know they're going to die. It's just it's so powerful. And the, the dude back at um, back at the city is just chomping away on those cherries or those grapes. And you got Pippin singing that song. Is it Pippin or Mary? One, one of the two is singing that song. Great song. Fact, true, yeah, true. You watched Ring of the Lords? Yeah, that counts, sure. It's good enough. 
All right, so since I can't, here's a good example of ready action, just in case BG3 ends up implementing it. Since I can't do anything right now, I can ready up a melee attack or a cantrip attack. And then if this enemy comes into my range, it will automatically go off later on in the round. And then when it comes back to my character's turn, I still have my actions and everything. So in this case, I doubt this guy's gonna get close for that. So we'll do a cantrip attack. Now we gotta work on this guy. I don't know what this thing's doing. I'm honestly tempted to fly right now. I can't remember how fly works in this game, but let's give it a try. Um, oh, this is my, oh, okay, no. This is Vigdis. We're, we're controlling Vigdis right now. Can you go this way too? Not really. You can, but you can't really at the same time. You have to be able to jump over that. We'll just move everybody up together. We'll, put, we'll group everybody up together so this wizard can cast one fireball and TPK in my entire group. That sounds like a good plan. Oh, there's a freaking archer up there. All right, we're going to just hold our ground for a second. Put PG3 adds in the dodge action. Still can't believe that Peter Jackson did to the Hobbit after giving us Lord of the Rings. You didn't like the Hobbit? You know, I actually understand. I love the Hobbit, but I totally understand. Definitely a totally different feel than the Lord of the Rings movies. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. We're going to try something. It allows me to go back here. It does. Perfect. Try to push this guy up a little bit. Actually, I'll go with both of my characters. What else do I have here? Arcane Shock. Starting at 10th level, you can use your bonus action to trigger Arcane Shock and make a con saving throw, DC 14. Taking 2d6 psychic damage on a failure till the end of your turn, you're restrained, but the spells you cast will have at least average dice roll value. Risk versus reward, I like it. It's pretty cool. pretty good um the city guards running low on hp dip is a little bit low but other than that we're pretty much kicking ass this fight thanks to duck rivers be overkill i should have looked at the hp but whatever oh shit that's not good the hell is that dude i hate the flying enemies in this game are you kidding me right now duck rivers That's not good. Okay, things just got a little crazy. Who am I playing as right now? Dip? Uh, let's see what we can do here. Hold on. I gotta see what this thing's all about. Clerics aren't scared of V-Rox. Vrox. This guy has mystery HP. Phantasmal killer. I say we go with... Ooh, I forgot about Guiding Bolt. Guiding Bolt level 5. Let's go with the Magic Missile. Let's play it safe. Let's see what happens. I don't know what this guy's going to do. Not too bad, actually. Took him down about 30% HP. Uh-oh, did we bug out? Not switching turns. You think Celasta needs a sequel or prequel game? 
You know, honestly, I'm kind of hoping that Tactical Adventures just starts an entirely new world and they take their profits. Hopefully they did well with Celasta. And uh, I don't know, though, it takes a lot of world building to create a game. So if they go with the Celasta world, I'm OK with it, actually. I take it back. I don't think it needs a sequel, though. I think their next game, if anything, it can still be set within the Celasta world. Forget the name of the world. It's been a long time. They definitely can't do like an actual sequel. They need to they need to do a game where new players can come in and experience the game without feeling like they have to play a previous game. At least not a direct sequel. seen the animated trilogy i have to watch that sometime from 78 that's crazy dungeons and dragons nice this guy's going up the city guard is crazy i didn't even see that guy that's not good holy crap Dip is stunned. Yes. Look at that lightning damage from my new bow that Tactical Adventures gives to you at the start of the campaign. That's pretty sick. 1d10 lightning. Almost one shot the battle mage. That's pretty impressive. I think I should be able to finish off the battle mage. I might have to cast haste though. I think it's going to be worth it. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. There's fly. Hold on. Maybe I'm, I'm already concentrating. What am I concentrating? I don't know. Oh, I have haste going up on my pally. Um, I'm going to try something here. That was stupid. Should have, should have, should have thought that through a little bit. Why do I have a torch in my main hand? Ax Shadow, and thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. How would you compare the handling of verticality between Celasta and BG3? Um. Not gonna lie, the, the verticality in BG3 is fantastic and I love the environments, but the camera work needs a little bit of work. I, I don't really remember the verticality in Celasta that much. So I'm gonna have to play for a little bit to get a feel for it again, to answer that question fully. Friends, wish BG3 had a toggle grid for combat. That'd be pretty cool if it was an optional, optional toggle on. I think they're trying to keep their game, I think BG3 doesn't want to look really uh the, the word that i like to use is gamey g-a-m-e-y it wants to look like an adventure not like you're playing a board game or not like you're playing like a strategy paper game or something like that they want it to look like an adventure game visually wise so that's why they probably avoid using grids and stuff like that because an average gamer that might be potentially interested in bg3 as soon as they see a grid or see something like that I think even with reactions, that's partially why Larian was probably hesitant with reactions, even though they did change it for the better. People like that are probably not going to check out the game. And BG3 is just such a gigantic production that it needs to reach like a lot of people oh, are going to use this. It needs to reach a really massive amount of people in order to make money back on it. So, but I think optional, optional options for stuff like that would probably be good.
to you. You lose. Now we gotta come all the way back though. Way too far away. The Asthma Chronicle. Change the torch out. It costs an action in this game, so I'm gonna do it after the combat counter is over. I don't even need it. Use a magic missile. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna get some high ground here because I can't reach that. I forget how to knock enemies out of the sky. I think they have to do like saving throws behind the scenes. And this guy should go down if I can nail this. Scorching Ray. Are you kidding me? Can't reach that right now. I remember flying enemies at the start of the Crown of the Magister campaign was really tough. Alright, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna do Magic Missile again. And we're gonna do... Oh, man. I'm gonna do two into that guy just in case. Oh, shit. I have magic missile with all my characters. What's up, Jeremy? Hello, Harry. Dinner done. Back to Marvel. Enjoy. Bounce will be good. Well, the romance with Lazel in Early Access has always been under construction. I don't think they've ever had that romance scene. What's a good way to get a flying enemy down from the sky? I don't remember. Does anybody know? I know a way. Damn it, too high for a sleep. Or is he? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Was that not, does he have too much HP? <laughs> too much HP, I think. That was a waste of a spell. What are you gonna do though, you know? You live and you learn. Well, how did this guy come from? Stun them? With what, though? That's the question. Dispel magic? No, I don't think that would do anything. Fireball is not going to do anything. Burning hands, heroism, bless, cure wounds. Who needs a heal right now? Vigdus needs a heal. Um, cure wounds, you got to be close. Bane. <laughs> Actually, casting Bless.
Spirit Guardians, I forgot about that. Twist. I don't even know that spell. Still need to try Warlock and Barbarian in BG3, but I'm waiting for the full release. Will there be romanceable characters in BG3 that I haven't seen yet? Most likely, yes. I don't know if we'll be able to romance like Minsk and Jahira, maybe, but I would think Karlak would be probably a romanceable character. We might be able to romance like some NPCs that aren't recruitable companions, too. Possibility. You gotta be shitting me. Wait, he's paralyzed now. It doesn't fall from the sky when he's paralyzed? Are you kidding me? <laughs> City guards in a 1v1 over here. This is a hell of a battle. I misclicked a lot in Celasta in my playthroughs. No, a lot of people misclick. I'm definitely in that category. <laughs> Can't take back anything in Celasta. What's up, nerd? Um, I can't reach right now. So in that case, let's go ahead and dash. What do I have for spells again? Oh, oh my God. Hunter's Mark. I'm so, I keep forgetting like the, the, the UI is so different from BG3. I forgot about Hunter's Mark. For a minute, I was thinking like I must've chose like some weird subclass or something. I didn't have it. Which doesn't really make sense because it's a ranger spell, but. All right, let's, um, I should get up here, but it looks like I can't on this turn, so... Thank God I have a ton of spell slots. Do, 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 do. See ya. Wait, is this guy healing himself too? I gotta get this guy down. This is real bad. Causes bludgeoning and cold damage and turns the ground. No, nope. banishment. Banish the creature as long as you can concentrate. Be kind of cool if I banish the creature. I wonder if that would end. Wonder what that would do. Annoying bee. The target sees an illusional bee harassing them and has disadvantage on concentration checks until the start of their turn. Then we have dancing lights, which is actually pretty important in this game. is OP true. Great shot right there. A little bit of uh, lag, but not too bad. Gives me a chance to catch up on the chat when that happens. Take a little bit of cover. Oh, I could probably help out over here too. attack of opportunity right there. Vanish will be OP if there are beings from other planes in this game. True. You speak the truth. Okay, so I don't have a ranged weapon with this character, so at this point... <sighs> Divine favor, gain additional radiant damage, and shield of faith. Channel Divinity, Fiery Wrath. Target one creature within 12 cells, dealing 2d6 plus Paladin level fire damage. I should probably move him down just in case I do knock this guy out of the sky. I gotta be ready to uh, take advantage of that. Start swinging at him. I think at this point I gotta go with uh, Magic Missile again. Oh, 
Oh, you bastard. A counter spell. Or shield. Oh my god. I remember that being super annoying in the first campaign. Well, you can't use it now. Almost got him down now. I think we're good to go. Bees give disadvantage on concentration checks, then hammer him with everyone. I was thinking about can casting that bee. Bee check, right? I was trying to see if this guy's actually concentrating on flying, or if it was like an in inherent natural ability that this character has. But no, you're, I think you're right. It doesn't have wings. Yeah, how do you like to be countered, bitch? Hell out of here. I hate lizards. He just healed himself again. Good old magic miss. Oh, reliable. Oh, faithful. Disadvantage, because out of dark vision range. You think I'm scared of that? Oh, wait, I can't cast Hunt. Oh, I can. There you go. Nice. It feels good to have Hunter's Mark back. All right, here we go with disadvantage. Not a problem. Not a problem for dodge. Career steroid user. Nothing's going to stop him. Blast is such a slept on game. True. Yeah, you know, it's hard to uh, grow to insanely popular numbers when you're like this indie, I guess you could say. So that's why I'm really hoping that their next game, they really step up their game with the graphics and the animations and stuff like that and the cinematics. Because I think they could become they could become mainstream CRPG company fairly easily. Especially, this is their first project, and it's so well done. I'll use a sock from the ground to clean it. Oh, God, I probably shouldn't have done that. That was disgusting. Just kidding. Fresh out of the wash. Or is it? You guys will never know. Good kill. That was convenient. A couple socks conveniently placed right there. Oh yeah, they're clean. 100%. I missed them this morning with my laundry. Who's going to win the 1v1 over here? This is a crazy battle. You guys, you guys sniff your clothes too, right? Like if you're trying to figure out if you washed it or not, you have to sniff it. It's just something that people don't like to admit. And I'll admit it for you guys, okay? It's pretty normal to sniff your clothes if you're trying to remember if you washed it or not. Like you can tell, especially if it's socks. Where the hell did this guy go? Oh, oh shit, I killed him. Wasn't even paying attention, you guys are distracting me. Socks of stinking cloud. I admit to the sniff. That's hilarious. How many of you guys are going to admit to the sniff right now? Who wears clothes? Oh, that's why you stream without a webcam, I feel. That all makes sense now. Burn the socks? We'll take your word. I guess we're just bum rushing this guy. Honestly, I'm gonna go this way just in case he might actually go this way. Double check. You guys want me to play Lord of the Rings Golem tomorrow or do you want me to play Celasta? More Celasta. I mean, wouldn't Lord of the Rings Golem be funny, though? Dreadful review. That's why I want to check it out. Oh, come on. You guys, you guys are no fun. Yeah. 
See, Tardis is down for a good laugh. I think it's sixty dollars, though. Did is it really sixty dollars? What kind of monster was that? New kind of Sorax. No, they didn't have anything in common with Sorax. They seemed to fight together. Marshal Sunblaze was right to suspect something. I'm sorry I brought you into this. Don't be. If Sorax are plotting in the Snow Alliance, then that's where we need to go. Thank you. Someone check the price rest. of that game. Let's set up camp. Sure. Ooh, 2800 XP. Nice. I forgot how to camp in. The, how do you rest in this game? Oh, yeah, you click on a bonfire, don't you? A lot of loot back here, though, I didn't pick up. I gotta come back. What's up, Marfin? Marfin, great recommendation in the Discord server. You know, I, I ought to take you on as an assistant. I'll double your pay from what I pay TARDIS. You could be a real asset to my business. Forty-two ninety-nine. What a rip! <laughs> Such a. I mean, I can't say it's a ripoff yet because I haven't tried it. So, I just have a feeling that it's extremely overpriced. I got some balls. I mean, I can't talk trash about the price until we actually play it. Or I can't. Maybe you guys have watched gameplay. I haven't watched anything, so. But I have a feeling. When a game charges too much and the game also sucks, that's when I start to get pissed off. If it's like a $10, $20 game And the company is like, yeah, we're kind of new. We don't really know what we're doing. Like, okay, fair enough. Like, not a big deal. But first of all, it's the Lord of the Rings license. So it has to be good. Otherwise, I'm going to talk trash about it. And it can't cost too much if it's not that good. How do I get over there? Okay, there we go. $50 on Steam. I'll think about that one tonight. I have a feeling it's a game that I'm going to play one time, too, and then never touch it again. Not going to get D4. I want to thank you again for your help. We couldn't have survived without you. Don't mention it. Have you ever seen such creatures? Those that flew? They weren't Sorax for sure. No, but they're described in some of my people's legends. They're called demons. Demons, you say? Well, they seem to back up the Sorax. It can't be a coincidence. But why us? You mean you. First your father, then you. Someone has a grudge against your family. Sorax and demons? That's not the same as a jealous neighbor. How wealthy are the Kaikanans? We're wealthy, but less so than the Keskainen clan, for instance. I don't see how killing me would make anyone else richer. Does your family have political power? The Snow Alliance is a democratic system. Each clan has votes based on its numbers. So no, we're not particularly influential. Does your family owe money to someone? Not that I know of, no. Business is pretty good from what my father told me. Is your family hiding a secret? What is that supposed sure, to mean? Duck Rivers looks like a oh, creeper no. right now. Centuries long betrayal, kidnapped children. And like a like vampire. That? You're ridiculous. We don't have any dark secrets. And yet, there's the Pact of the Claw between five clans from before the Snow Alliance was founded. But it's just tradition. It has no political weight. Don't brush this off so quickly. There may be something there. I'm sorry. I can't say any more right now. When we get home, I might be able to tell you more. I will have to get my father's amulet anyway. It's well. Sure. I have so many questions. 
I feel like I don't even know my own family's traditions. Maybe we're being too hard on you. You just lost your father. I have to be strong. Especially with Sorax and demons threatening my homeland. I'm glad you've come. I know it's not your country. Masgarth is free of the Sorax. We have to chase them wherever they are. Mm -hmm. You can count on me to help you. Good to know. Now we should all get a good night's sleep. So is she going to be like an official I'll party member or what? Shift. Five man party for the DLC. Finish Wrath of the Righteous. Oh, once you finish Wrath of the Righteous. Nice, Keith. Okay, we're going uh, more to the north. Into the snowy mountains of Kakapuki. I'd rather play a gacha game than the recent PC ports. Even the Dark Alliance port that I played, was it last year or earlier this year? I think it was last year. Dark Alliance 2 is a great game, but I encountered some really, really bad bugs and had to stop playing. Big Dre. 1BG1. Oh, I'll be playing BG1 probably quite a lot over the next couple weeks. Ah. Oh. In the lands of the Snow Alliance, you may encounter extreme cold. Light blizzards can cause characters to be chilled. Heavy blizzards cause them to be frozen, which slows them down and reduces their saving throws and ability checks. Holy crap. Playing outward right now? Light blizzards can cause characters to be chilled, and heavy blizzards cause them to be frozen, which slows them down and reduces saving throw and ability checks. Stay close to heat sources in order to avoid cold. There are many ways to counter the effects of extreme cold. Snow dwarves are never chilled. That's pretty sick. As well as anyone who has resistance to cold or wears magical protection, such as boots of the Winterland, armor of frost walking, or ring of cold resistance. A fire shield spell will also protect you from being chilled. That's super, that's awesome. At least I'm saying it's awesome right now. I don't know how long that will last, but... Currently chilled. Suffering from the effects of cold weather, you are slowed down and suffer penalties on dex and con ability checks and saving throws. And when we go next to these braziers right here, it should go away. Yep, it went away. My you'd be really close to it. Even my uh, my wizard right here, Dive, is, not, is still cold right now. Welcome home, my lady. Ah, Misuk. It's good to see you. I'm sorry for your father, my lady. We'll find the murderers. I swear it. We will. Together. I promise you. Justice will be done. Now is the time to mourn. We have guests. The heroes who won the battle at the Rift. Hey there. That's a damn good curriculum. Welcome to Kaupapunki. Thanks. Misuk is my, um... Security officer. So, I okay. suppose everybody's Awfully here? suspect. The whole clan. As expected. What she's saying is well, they're banging in friends, the back room. Consider yourselves at home. My people's hospitality is well known. I would like to see my father before the ceremony. Uh, of course. Stay in the light, my lady. The journey was long and exhausting. Go to the tavern and get some rest. At home. They definitely improved, like, the little banter that you can have with NPCs. It looks better, too. Oh, we got a faction, the Southern Clans.
where did my staff go? Did I sell? I might have sold my wizard staff by accident when I was doing my inventory. That's unfortunate because that was a pretty good staff. Not that I need it really. You know, we're just casting magic missile all the time. My wizard right now, using a torch and a weapon that she's not proficient with. Classic. Oh, the Wand of Magic Missile goes where the potion is. That's pretty cool. Oh, I have a staff of healing. Oh, bard, cleric, and druid, though. Uh, whoever asked the dragonborn question earlier, I don't think there's any limitations in 5e, so you should be able to play a dragonborn druid. Especially in BG3. Even if there was limitations, I don't know if Larian would go with it. But I don't think there is. I'm not going to do any crafting. At least I don't have plans on doing it right now. I'll hang on to my kits, though, just in case. I like how you can have... Uh... There's a lot of options in this game if you want to play like material components and stuff, but I like how some of your equipment can actually be a material component such as a spell focus. You don't have to carry like an orb. You can have special bracers that give you that, let you meet that condition for casting spells. I think that's pretty cool. I don't even know what I'm using right now for spell focus. I'm using an amulet for spell focus. Okay, let me see if this guy has any... Quarter staff plus one. I'll take it. Duck River. What's up, Judge? Um, Judge, I read your comment too the other day. I was re-watching a part of a stream, and I saw your comment in the chat. And, uh, yeah, that sucks, man. I feel you, brother. It ain't too fun having to pay amounts like that, especially for unexpected medical problems. My surgery's been delayed to June 27th, so that's the date as of right now. It could actually get delayed again because there's a gaming event coming up in July that I want to attend. And, uh, if my doctor says I can't go to that event, and I might delay the surgery even more, which sucks, but honestly, the event is really important to me, and you guys will find out eventually why it is. But uh, June 27th is the current day, so. Yeah, me too, Twyla. 100%. It's pretty cool. General store merchant, ingredient store merchant. I don't think I need either of them, so... Let's go to the tavern. Where the hell is the tavern in this town? I like how they all jumped over that. I did not watch that live stream. Was there a lot of good information, Eric? Look at that. The town is literally built on this glacier. Adventure awaits. This tower must be very old to be stuck in the ice like that. 
reminds me of the tower at Kerlem. Actually, this place was too far from the airline to be affected by the cataclysm. Fine, you're smarter than me. I'm fine, you're smarter than me. Baggy Lobster, that's a funny YouTube name right there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to catch up on that soon because I do plan on covering Rogue Trader on the channel. As long as it doesn't release like at the same time as Baldur's Gate 3 or anything, I'll definitely jump into it pretty deep. The Clan House Merchant Store. Bunch of crafting schematics. Damn, this place is a lot bigger than I expected. Holy crap. Temple of Oblivion. Oh, the scavengers. I forgot about the scavengers. I think the scavengers were added with a DLC. Maybe they weren't. God, it's been so long. The scavengers will pick up your loot that you don't pick up, and then you can buy it off of them if you want it. Pretty nice, actually. Or they take a little bit of a fee for their services, what can I do for which you? is fine, and it makes sense. Uh, what news? Oh, shit. That's a bug. Not bad, even so far from the Badlands. But between Gallivan and Sorex, clients get scarce. Uh, lady? I don't mean to be rude, but uh, somebody drew on your face with a crayon. Not bad, even so far from the Badlands. But between Gallivan and Sorex, clients get scarce. Can we see your wares? Sure. Any important news for Warhammer? Do they go over anything like release dates or any of that? Bunga. That's the tavern right there. Mike, Space Marine 2 got a new trailer. I don't think that one personally interests me. Her Lady Vigdis is back from Asgard. This is a cool little tavern right here. I love the background music right now. This is a lovely tavern. I would love to hang out in here. Hang out in here with the wolf pack. Well met, strangers. What's your poison? How's your beer? Dark, bitter, and strong. Better than their shitty drink they brew in the south. You bet. Nice. Okay, we need a room. Actually, any news? What news? Our lord is dead. Murdered. Damn Sorax. We heard. We'd like to rest. Separate beds. Eh, as long as you pay, you do, you. Enjoy your four beds.
There's gold in every chest you come across. Vigdis left a message inviting you to join her for her father's funeral. Well, that should be interesting. Well met, strangers. Well, that's What's weird. your poison? Just talked about 12 hours ago, lady. We were just about to go. See you next. Morgana? From Arthurian legend? Yeah, Warhammer has a yeah, from from what I've read and understand and what I've looked at, it seems like Warhammer is just filled with so many garbage games that like a lot of people just don't even care when a new one comes out. Which I think is cool that Owlcat is making a CRPG based on the Warhammer franchise, because that will probably maybe change the outlook a little bit. Yeah, every time I see like a Warhammer trailer, like over the past 15 years, I'm like, that looks like trash. The Lord of the Rings is turning into now a Lord of the Rings Golem, right? Maybe. I think Dungeons and Dragons might slowly be turning into that too. Starting to give out their license to like Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance, which came out a couple years ago. That action RPG, that thing, that game sucked. Look, the flag of the Antiquarians. Of course, it's their headquarters. Shall we knock and have a little chat about their pal, Halman Summer? I hear they went through a purge after his betrayal. I tried giving that I tried giving Dark Alliance a chance too. I stayed open minded about it for a while and then eventually it's just like, okay. It's not high quality. I wish like some franchises would just just be based on pure quality in any game that would ever come out that's like Lord of the Rings, like you know it's just a crazy good experience. But unfortunately, sometimes quality is not the path to take in terms of monetization of your game. Sometimes shit games can sell pretty damn good. Bolt gun? A boomer shooter? The hell does that mean? Welcome to Kaiken and Keep. I'm really enjoying these like really small interactions that you can have with the NPCs. It adds a lot to the immersion in the world. The home of the dwarves. Oh, I'm not supposed to go through this door, but let's go through it anyways and see what's in here. Oh, never mind. Take it back. D&D Online could be better. Need big devs behind the franchise? That's not necessarily true, though. I mean, if you want a AAA experience, yes, but to have a good experience, you don't need big devs. You need devs that are willing to put the time in, and you need publishers that allow them to put the time into their game. I think that's the biggest problem. Like, if Celasta was a D&D game, and it was still advertised... Well, the problem with Celasta being a D&D game would be that you know that Wizards of the Coast has the money to, to put into Celasta, and then you'd be questioning why the graphics are so shit in the animations, but... We're here to see Lady Vigdis. My lady is preparing for a funeral. We know that. Good. 
What's wrong with you? I do not think this is a suitable time to bother, my lady. This is important. Yes, I'm sure it is. Do you know who we are? Not family members. What's going on here? Your butler does not wish to let us in. Thaddeus. My lady, this <laughs> is a private matter. I don't believe strangers Thaddeus. should... Thaddeus. They are my guests of honor. I'm terribly sorry, my lady. Please, come in. In what is this private in? matter? The wake for my father's funeral. I'd like you to be present. Oh, thanks. It's a privilege, I feel like this lady. might be a trap. You clearly don't know my family. This is about tradition, not emotion. Oh, by the way, I asked about the Pact of the Claw. Great, so what can you tell us about it? It appears the Pact is the reason why the five main clans, the Vatmikint, exist. It was sealed before the Cataclysm, which is why its origins were lost in time. But it used to be much more important than it is nowadays. Anything about demons in that story then? No, but Vatmikint means guardian. So it sounds like it was made to protect the land. I hope to learn more after the wake, when I have more time to help you. It's fine. You should be with your family. It's important. We don't have much of a lead so far. And yet, we still consider you a primary target for Sorax. Which means we need to keep our eyes open. And I shall do the same. Milady, everyone's ready. Let's go then. It's showtime. I hate that dwarves are my favorite race, but I don't think I could live inside a mountain. I want to be a dwarf that lives with the elves. I think that's a dream come true for myself. You know what? I'll be a half dwarf, half elf. How about that? And I can choose where I want to go. Dear friends, family and honored guests. We are gathered this day to honor my father, our Lord Kaikonen Vatia, protector of Etelin Vatmikint. I almost forgot. She's going to be the new clan chief. Think they're all happy about that. Who knows? Shh. Kaikonen Vatia, we bring you to rest in the halls of our ancestors. May the gods keep your soul, our fallen lord. Honor the fallen. Honor the fallen. Honor the fallen. Honor the fallen. From ice you were born, with steel you have ruled. On stone you have fallen, mm -hmm. in ice you will rest. Okay. Farewell, dear father. Dwarves are underrated, true. Skies, my lord. Victus told me about you. You are heroes. Thank you for honoring our father. The honor is ours. Your father was a great chief. I don't understand how they could get to him. Maybe an inside job. Don't accuse lightly, my lord. Of course. I hope you find whoever did this. We'll do our best. Stay in the light, my lord. Stay in the light. Olaf. I know that name. We have a channel member named Olaf. The Viking name. Music's great so far. I can't leave the wake now. This cannot wait, my lady. Go get the instructions. I'll figure it out. Everything all right? Mm -mm. My friends. I need your help with an urgent matter. Varric. Of course. 
As you can imagine, I must stay here with my family. Can you join Masuk over there and take care of it? She will explain everything. Fine. Stay in the light, my lady. All right, the stay in the light bullshit starting to get a little annoying. So she sent you. Your lady trusts us. Why don't you? It's my job to be wary of strangers. Anyway, she does trust you, so I will, too. Can we get to the point? Sure. I need your help to fetch something from the clan's necropolis. What is that something you need to fetch? The Claw Amulet of Etilen Vartmechen. The one Vigdis is supposed to get from her father? Yes, that one. Any idea why Sorax or demons would be after it? For all I know, it's just a symbol of power for the clan chief. But it's a dragon claw, so maybe it has magical properties. Don't tell me we're after another magical item. Do you really need our help for such a simple task? I need three people at least, but moreover, the necropolis has been infiltrated. By who? I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if there were the same people who murdered my lord. So you're expecting a fight? Exactly. And I need more than city guards if I'm about to face a bunch of Sorax. Are you really a simple security officer? My title doesn't matter. I'm a faithful servant of House K. Conan. Yeah, she's a spy. <laughs> so, do you agree to help me? Yeah, she's a spy. Why is the amulet not on Lord K. Conan's body? That's the point. It should have been. A it scar. has a magical safeguard. You must be sworn in to touch it. Otherwise, it teleports into its safe box in a vault. Well, how hell am I going to pick it up then? Which means someone tried to take it. What can you tell us about the necropolis? It's ancient, carved in the glacier Ooh. itself. It also holds the clan's vault magically protected. The safe box for the claw amulet is in that vault. That'll be fun. And a glacier. Why is this so urgent? After the wake, Vigdis must take the oath. She needs the claw. Otherwise, her legitimacy would be endangered. If Lord Stonebeard heard that she lost the amulet, he could take over as clan chief. He could try, legitimately. Mm. That's a possible motive for murder. Are you done? Can we go? We know enough. Well, a tale of a political intrigue. Here, the wall is hiding a secret door. Classic defensive architecture. Shush, don't disturb their mourning. Where's my tarts, bro? Not to be confused with where's my tart. So the $2 super chat. $2 for the DA2 gameplay. Nice. <clears throat> All right, so Vigdis asks you to retrieve the missing amulet for the Pact of the Claws oath-taking. Escort Mazook into the clan's necropolis to recover it from its magical safe box. I wonder if that's like the main quest. Like, is that what we're going to do? We're going to retrieve that? Or is it going to, is that going to be the end? No way. Oh yeah, we could talk with the Vigdis family to learn more about, hold on, I wonder where I can, before I go in there. Oh, I love the choirs. Beautiful music. I love RP, I love fantasy RPGs. You know, there's really nothing better in life. be more legitimate if she had a full beard um i don't know where these other characters are so to be quite honest with you i think we're gonna not do that let's go into the necropolis Here we go. I 
half orcs in this game are better looking than the tieflings. Thank you all for being here tonight. Appreciate the thumbs up on the stream. Uh, let's do a save. Let's do a manual save. Into the glacier we go. This acting. Yeah, it's not the best, but pretty good for what they had to work with. This I actually like it. it. Look at this place. Sometimes I like games that have lower budgets, like the style of the lower budget acting and stuff is kind of entertaining. All right, keep your eyes open. I don't see any threat. When I came earlier, I saw shadows and heard voices. Maybe they're gone, but still be careful. Now, the protections. To I don't access know about this vault, man. We need to put pressure on three slabs at the same time. Which is why you need at least three people. Yes. Also, the slabs are separated, which means we have to split up. With possible enemies around. Sounds risky. We don't have a choice. Fine. You guys trust this lady? Oh, I forgot, like, how many, like, environmental puzzles there were in this game. Yeah, for sure, Steven, I agree. have a stalactite making me think there's going to be some enemies around here hopefully there's no frost spiders or something like that Once long ago, The Witcher was in a similar position budget-wise to Celasta. True. The Witcher 1, man. I love The Witcher 1. Played that on my first gaming laptop. <clears throat> it's 
Spell focus, a holy symbol cape. So that's really cool. I love how easy it is in this game to switch different characters. In BG3, it's such a pain in the ass. Like, all, literally all you gotta do is look at this. Click on this guy. Now I have full control over him and nobody else. I wish, I God, I hope BG3 does this. Or at least makes it like a shift click or something like that. It is so nice. That was dramatic. Hmm, I need an arcane spell focus. I didn't have that on before. I feel like I did. What did I do to get rid of it? Must have done something by accident. I need an arcane spell focus, and currently I only have divine. I must have gotten rid of it. Cloak? The cloak was divine. Caster's got them weak knees, true. An extraordinary jump. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love doing little things like that in D&D &D games. 
What? I better hurry up. Shit. Oh, I might end up in combat. Night, Jessica. Should have done a cantrip. Are you kidding me right now? How's the even point of that? What a fantastic leap. I don't need a whole cutscene, I just wanted to test it out. <clears throat> Puzzle or trap or both? All right, so we got this side of the map. Let's go ahead and pick my wizard.
Two out of three. <clears throat> Get a sip of water. Norse numerals. <clears throat> Richard, did you drink a cup of uh, backseat gaming today or what? How many cups did you drink? I mean, I said you're a base, but holy shite. I should just uh, Steam remote play it to you right now and let you play it yourself. All right, let's... um. Ah, so once it goes up, locks you in like that, so you can only have one character in each one. All right, we got to figure out one more room. What's up, T-Dub? How are you? Slab chamber, slab chamber. There must be a slab chamber over here somewhere. Got to figure out how to navigate this damn place. I think we're good on the north, and we're good on the east. So let's work on the west section now. We're looking for the one rune. And it must be back here. It's got to be back there. Oh shit, she's gonna make that jump? Damn. Oh. I don't get how you should get this thing down. That's confusing me. It's like. Oh, I guess you can shoot that. Okay. Oh, that takes care of that, I guess. Forgot you could do that. What the hell did that even do, though? <clears throat> You're telling me an arrow knocks down a pillar? Oh, I guess it doesn't in this case. That was a wooden pillar. Oh, it did. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous, but okay, fair enough. All right, then I have my archer right here, so it looks like we got over here. Hopefully we can get over to this side without any hassle now. Death Maul. Well, so this should be interesting. Um, what did that do? It allows me to get up here. Oh, okay, nice. Got a little shortcut. And we can knock this down. The only character, my archer. We should probably move my archer towards somebody. Um, move my archer back towards the middle. Keep my archer and my cleric together. At the very uh. least. Uh. Oh, nice. Nope. Go right there, brother. Perfect. You guys stay right there together. We'll go back to Mrs. Mazook. Huh. And here is our third slab chamber. Wolf is messing your dungeon. Alright, that was a pretty fun 
Uh, not really. A little bit of a puzzle, but just trying to navigate the environment. I honestly forgot that you could shoot the pillars. Like, logically, it doesn't really make sense to be able to shoot, shoot a stone pillar down with an arrow, but hey, we'll just pretend they're magic arrows. Oh, you can't loot with Mizook. And here's the moment of truth. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Houston, we have a problem. Everybody's spread out, of course. Um, oh my god, are you kidding me right now? Get back over here. <sighs> I think I can come off of these now. Yeah, okay. Cunning action, Mazook is a rogue. Watch. Well, this is fun. Discord general chat was unhinged during the Sony press conference yesterday. Our Discord general chat? I gotta figure out that spell focus thing. How the hell did I lose my spell focus? Damn, I should have used this first. Probably should have dodged, actually. Aha! Shield! Got whole person on me. Oh shit! They got it. How the hell do I get back over here? Like, the only way I can think of is going all the way back to the back and around. Unless I still have... Hold on, do I still have fly? I don't even know if I can cast it anymore. What do I have with this character? Anything that will get me across? I don't think I do. Honestly, I might have to start heading. This would take me like 10 rounds to get back to the... That is insane. Wait, hold on. If I push... Oh, maybe I can go down here. No, I don't think I can make that jump. Let me try. I'm not entirely sure here. Looks like I might be able to go down here and then across. Possibly. Pinkerton agents. Or Red Dead. 
Oh, you know what I can do? Ha ha! Spiritual weapon! That's pretty clutch. Do, 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 do. Nice, this character left because I went invisible, so that's perfect. I can't waste time fighting 1v1. Gotta get the gang together. Holy crap. 39 cold? What the hell? What's up, Rob? Pickertons are uh, from Red Dead. All right, now we gotta try to... Get the hell out of here. I think my paladin can probably take these guys out. Branding smite action, why not? Okay, so yeah, it doesn't look like I can get across at all. And I don't have jump anymore. This really sucks. What was the point of knocking that pillar down if I can't get across? I'm legit stuck. This is this is crazy. It'd take me so long to get all the way back and around. I don't even want to like attempt it. Are you kidding me right now? Why can't they just jump to that? Hmm. That must be it. No. Yeah. Actually, maybe you can do that. You gotta be kidding me. Should have done that in the first round. Misty step would be great right now. Liches at the coast called in the Pinkertons onto MTG fan because they sent him cards they shouldn't have. This would really suck if I ended up dying. The only problem I have with this kind of, I don't mind doing this one time, having everybody separated, like it's part of the challenge. But if I were to TPK and have to do this again, then this fight would be, this fight would be really, uh, really not fun. So I better, I better freaking win this one. I'm about to dodge, seriously. I still have 62 HP actually, and magic missile, and thunder wave, and burning hands. You know what? That would be an opportunity attack that I honestly might be willing to take. I don't have the spell focus, so I can't cast haste. That would have been great. I think I'm gonna take the opportunity attack. Watch this. And we're going to try to meet halfway. Save us a little bit of time here. And Misty Step, too. I think it's probably worth it. Um, if I can get... It doesn't look like it's giving me any cover from anybody, but maybe it is? Okay, I think it was actually pretty good. 10 a.m. and I need dinner. Oh, it's 10, not a.m. All right, Twilight, sounds good. Thank you. Enjoy your dinner. I didn't want to disengage because I wanted to get as far as I possibly could. Sometimes it's worth it taking the opportunity attack. 
All right, so for here, we can certainly do spiritual weapon. Move it up a little bit. And then with him, we're going to dash. We're going to start our journey around. Haste is so good in general. True. Haste is OP on a paladin. Alright. Duck Rivers ain't scared of a couple Sorax. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. I could fireball. Oh my god, I can fireball both these. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't care. Arun, Evo, Malmis. The hell of a fireball right there. Really not that. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Probably more than I could have done just using extra attack. Oh, where did he come from? Uh oh. Duck Rivers has got a challenge. I didn't put my shield back on. I couldn't, though. It cost an action. All right, so now it looks like I'm able to join. Um, if I come over here, wait, is this even gonna work? Yeah, it is. Let's go ahead and dash. Oh, nice, we can take out this guy, actually. Oh, that's not good, okay. Un I wonder if I should have went this way with this character. Nah, we'll help out. Let's go. Damn it, these stupid ability checks. Athletics checks. I like them though. I like when that stuff happens, even though it's annoying. Really makes your character's stats, ability scores truly matter when you have stuff like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is. Do, 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 do. See, I keep forgetting that the bonus action spells are over here. I'm just kind of getting back into the habit of remembering that now. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. I need to get the hell out of there, I think. I only have 31 HP right now. And the funny thing is, now I could probably miss his step. Really? Like, well, Misty Step feels pretty weak right now. Why is it so weak? In that case, let's go ahead and... I got a better idea. Shit, I don't have the spell focus. I can't... Taking a potion. Might Misty Step too, actually. Just to get a little distance here. Oh, and there's cover too. We'll go right here. I think it's worth it. Face the wrath of the duck. Counterspell, FTW. Everybody's flying. The hell, man. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I forgot to switch back to sword and board. Miss. Ah! Duck Rivers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this guy freaking healed? Oh, come on, game. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Arun, Evo, Malmis. Miss. <gasps> Told you. Switch back to sword and board. He ain't gonna hit me. Miss. Cool. Told you. Miss. Told you. 
wall of flame. I don't think Dodge has missed a single shot yet. He is a changed man. Steroids really do work wonders. What's up, Gabriel? UI is so clean. Yeah, the UI is nice in this game, Rocky. Blast is pretty sweet. If you like CRPGs and you like the fifth edition rules and mechanics, great game. And you like indie games, of course. Can't go wrong. The uh, Crown of the Magister campaign was great. The uh, Jungle DLC, whatever the hell the name is, you guys probably told me earlier, but I didn't look at the chat. That one was all right. I didn't even finish that one. This one's off to an all right start. Not too bad. Combat's so much fun in this game. Come on. Ah. Trying to get her away. Oh, great. Incapacitated. Unbelievable. Uh, don't, don't be a fireball. Ah. It was a scorching ray. Crikey. Wait, why can't I get over here? Are you tell- Bruh. I can't make that jump? Oh my god. Okay. Well, in that case, check this out. See ya. Oh, the spiritual weapon can go up in the air? Oh my god, it can! Last the combat really makes you think. And I like that about it. Oh no! I forgot to switch to my <clears throat> damn it. No quarter given. My two-handed sword. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna risk it. We're doing divine smite. Can't risk that guy staying alive for another round. What's up, kit? Kitty kit. Kitty cat. Mark, get on my level. You didn't get me. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little far. Okay, in that case, let's just get some. Oh, they're not getting any cover from that. Let me just move right there, and we'll switch to sword and shield, and end turn. Honestly, I want to ready up a ranged attack. Let's get her out of here. How far will Misty Step bring me?
She has how much HP? 11 HP. Ooh. Oh man, I might have to actually miss the step to get a little bit further away. I could dodge. I think I'm better off going up here. Looks like a little cover from the pillar. Resistance is a touch spell, otherwise I would probably do it. What are you doing? Don't do it again. Deal with it. Okay. Haha. -ha. Successful attack. Dip can strike with additional damage by using channel divinity. Dude, that guy. What? Oh my god, this guy's got some HP. I just realized that I'm in a boss battle right now and I didn't even know How do I get back though? Shit. Uh, see I should have cleared the map before oh, I did clear the map. Okay, so I just got to go this way Duck Reavers Reserves. We gotta drop something here magnificent scale armor I'm gonna come back for it We gotta get Duck Rivers involved in this fight. I don't think you can save in combat in this game. Never mind, you can. Low casting magic missile at max level. Dude, is this guy gonna come at us or what? Like, I'm gonna have to back up here. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, y'all. He's gonna attack Dip again, and Dip's gonna die. You throw potions in this game? Don't think you can, man. Honestly, what I'm gonna do is... Drink a potion. And I am going to... Okay, never mind, that took an action. I'm gonna back the hell up. Fireball. I'm gonna try if I can reach him. Honestly, I don't mind sending Mizook up front line. She got full HP. Oh, wait, that was Mizook? Oh, wait, I just got my characters mixed up. Shadow Dodge is a bonus action teleport to a cell you can see within five cells. Problem is, my priest is over here a little bit too far away. Can't get over, it just sucks. This guy just can't, the dwarf can't, dwarves can't jump, man. That fly, I could help out here. Dwarves just simply can't jump. What's up, elven princess? Long time no see. We're gonna win this battle Whether you guys like it or not Nobody throws a dwarf Alright, so the potion I don't know how much the potion is worth An 8 D4 plus 8 
do 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 Get him, Mr. Wappin. <laughs> Miss. Alright, see, is he still gonna attack my dwarf? Well, that's cheating. Up, jokers? How are you, bro? This guy's a cheater. <clears throat> I can't believe he just keeps attacking Dip. I might have to actually charge here. Which ain't gonna be fun, but maybe it's time now because my paladin is getting close, so. I was trying to pull him, but unfortunately, this guy seems to want to target my paladin. And my paladin cannot get any closer. I'd have to go with him. I'd have to jump here, go up in here. That'd be the only way I could get around. Um, honestly, you know what? Actually, I think I might hold my group. I'm going to ready. I'm going to ready a spell. We're going to ready a ranged attack. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Oh, look at that. Probably knock that down. Ready, ranged attack. Beautiful. Uh, ready, cantrip. My boy, Duck Rivers. Good buddy of mine. 8 HP. What kind of game is this? See ya. Gravity slam? What the hell is that? Wait till the next one. We'll let Duck Rivers take care of the day. Get the jet. You gotta be shitting me. Feels good. You can feel the impact. Oh, 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 I almost killed him. Almost killed the bastard. Honestly, I'm gonna just back up a little bit so I don't get AOE. Incapacitated. Might be time to start moving up with the mage. I'm so low HP, I don't think I want to though. Just because that's risky, I'm gonna go back even more. Yeah, true, at least he didn't attack the paladin. <clears throat> I don't even know if I can get actually I, I don't even know if my dwarf's capable of getting over there. This is this is crazy. Let's go down a little bit. Yeah, I can't go anywhere. Oh shit, now he's going after Duck Rivers. Shit, now he's got advantage on his next attack. You think Duck Rivers is scared of that? Oh shit, Duck Rivers doesn't have any more spell slots. He is a little bit scared. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. You gotta be shitting me. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and cast Bless on herself. 
Fabulous, the spiritual weapon. Help ourselves out a little bit, and then I'm gonna switch the sword and shield, and we're gonna go take cover. If this guy follows, we're gonna attack with everybody else. Hoping he doesn't heal himself this time. Alright, Mr. Dodge. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Can't do that to me. Can't do that to me, brother. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. See ya. More coming your way. You have your answer. So that's what they look like. How did they find a way in? That's what they do. That and shape-shifting into anyone. Actually, it looks like they've developed new tactics. GG's. They're even deadlier than before. An attack like this? Up in town? It would be a slaughter. It's not their way. They infiltrate, corrupt, and replace key people. I hope we got them all. Anyway, let's finish this. The vault is just here. Is it full of gold? Most valuables are back in the keep. Oh, we're already the at the vault. The vault was used during war times only. Of course, I'd appreciate it if you didn't loot what's left in it. Killjoy. I thought we we're going to have to travel through like miles of this glacier to get to the vault. Our characters are messed up right now, though. Oh, I forgot. We can take a short rest. Thanks, Steven. So look at this staff of fire. Oh, I am so stupid. None of you guys caught this, so I could actually just move on and not admit this. I did equip the staff of fire into her hands in the beginning, but it looks like a torch. So I assumed it was a torch. That's why I switched it off. Now it all makes sense because the staff of fire is a spell focus universal. So you put that staff on, which I thought it was a freaking torch, man. And then look at this. Voila. I can cast fly, fireball, haste. Hey, I had to nerf myself a little bit to make that combat counter challenging, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man, that freaking... Tell me that doesn't look exactly like a torch. Yeah, I'll have to tune it. Uh, I got the spell focus. I'll tune it on my next rest. You gotta be kind of somewhat careful, conservative with your rests in this game. Not like BG3 where you can just do it all the time, at least from what I remember. Etelen Turnville. It's in the box. Great. I'll take it if you don't mind. Wait a second. Oh. This is a Manacalon box. A pretty one. I said no looting. Thank you for the help. I owe you. I need to bring this to Vigdis right now. Mm -mm. She must be worried. Hey, we're coming with you. What? You think I'm one of them? We find traitors by the dozen these days, so... Fair enough. Let's go. Yep, gotta gotta save those slots for sure. I wish it was a little bit more like that in BG3. You can pretty much long rest Maybe after every I encounter. Clear enough about the looting part. Oh shit, she getting pissed off at me right now. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Mazuk has left you an order to rush back to Vigdis and give her the missing amulet. Return to the city once you're ready to leave Necropolis. Potion of Hill Giant Strength. And a component pouch here. Yeah, we'll buy those. Why not? Or we'll take them. Maybe I wasn't clear enough about the looting path. Shut the hell up, dwarf. Can't tell gamers not to loot. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, they made it so tricky just to get back. There's a lot of loot on the ground here, but... Let's see what my characters do here. Oh, yeah, he's going the long way. Let these guys handle it themselves. I, I feel like I read that too, Kit, but I have to double check. I hope it is. I hope they move on to their next project, because I'm very excited to see what they do in the future. Never make deals with Wolf. True. Unless you want to get scammed. Just keeps getting incapacitated because her strength is so so low. <laughs> Fails every single athletics check. <coughs> you can fast travel to that? Can you really do that? Oh shit, you're right. You can in this game. I forgot about that. Well, at this point, I'm already there, so. <laughs> oh yeah the magnificent armor true shit where the hell was that damn it why you guys gotta remind me about loot on the ground all right hold on i'll go get it unbelievable i think it's right here one of these <sighs> Duck won't fail his athletics checks. But we're good with him. He's a ranger. I'm a ranger, mom. Duck, come here. Stop. Shoot that thing down. Duck, the slayer of stalactites. I have such bad posture right now. And I don't even care. Oh, I could probably have, I probably could have fast traveled to the slab chamber too. No looting. That's my loot from the from the enemies. <clears throat> There's only so much I can do for my knee now. The meniscus has been torn. And it will not heal back on its own. So now I just take it easy until the surgery. Okay, let's see what this is all about. This should be quite interesting. I agree, Elf. Nice to be playing it again. Pound your fey? You can summon a fey wolf? That sounds pretty cool. Do you have it? Here it is. Oh, thank Aina. You're saving me. Keep it close, my lady. What's wrong? There were Sorax in the necropolis, probably after it. Gods. 
Well, I need to go back. We'll find out what happened. Thank you. Where do we start? Everybody's a suspect. I have, um, let's call it a hunch. That is. The grumpy butler? Really? <laughs> Something was off during the ceremony's preparations. I looked for him. He wasn't around. That's unlike him. That is pretty thin. Let's ask around. Someone may have seen him. I'll come with you. I know who to interrogate. All right. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm like 85% sure that I tore it hitting golf balls last year. And uh, it's only gotten worse since then. It goes through phases. There was a period where I thought I was healed, but then I hit golf balls again at the start of the season of this year in New York. And I really messed it up. And then I was barely walking. And then I got an MRI and the doctor was like, yeah, this isn't going to heal on its own. So that's where we stand now. Big pain in the ass. Can't really enjoy anything in the summertime up here. And the surgery just keeps getting delayed because I have a wedding that I got to go to. I have to get it after the wedding. Uh, granted, I'm excited to go to the wedding, but I'm also handicapped going to the wedding. It takes place on a mountain. And then I might have to delay it again because there's a gaming conference that I need to go to. I can't talk about that right now in July. And I don't know if my doctor is going to let me fly to it. If he doesn't let me fly, I have to delay it again. <laughs> because the conference is more important than my knee. Just an all-around pain in the ass. The medical things we in the USA are just ridiculous sometimes. May you rest in the arms of Mariah Kay. Can barely get in contact with my doctor because here in the USA, it's in and out. They get as many patients as they can possibly fit into a really small little time slot. So then when you actually try to call, like they're so busy, none of the doctors or nurses can barely keep track of what they have. You can barely get in contact with people you have to talk to. Like, I was, they're supposed to call me today to talk about the upcoming gaming conference. No call, of course. You call back, answering machine. And you're paying an absorbent amount of money for things. Just a frustrating process. All right, let's um gather information on the butler's activities. This might be a good stopping point for tonight. Let me see if we can get a nice little dialogue option up here. I don't know if we're coming to a conclusion on this quest or what. <clears throat> um, it's not just flying, it's also... Well, flying, you have to sit on a plane in a tight position. So that can cause blood clots after a surgery. So you definitely have to... You definitely can't fly after some surgeries. Um, but it's not just the flying, it's also, you know, walking around and going places. I mean... I mean, granted, I would probably, you know, not walk as much as I didn't have to, but I'm still going to have to walk. And if it's not part of the recovery process, it's not worth risking it. So therefore, I just delay the surgery. Pain in the knee. Hey there. Well met. We'd like to know if you saw Thaddeus early this morning. Oh, um, I don't remember seeing him at all. Today? No. And I was here pretty early. Could he have crossed the gate without you noticing? Well, I'm busy, but the guard would have seen him then. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Hey there. Hello. Our guests here have a few questions for you. What can these dwarves do for you? We'd like to know if you saw Thaddeus early this morning. Nope, haven't. Is it possible that he left town? Not a chance. I would have seen him. All right. Thank you. Stay in the light. Playing Sherlock Holmes, man. Cut ankle was my left one. Ooh. 
sitting in an airplane seat after knee surgery? Yeah, yeah. I mean, outside of just the comfort, because I don't really care about comfort. If it was a long flight, I would. It's a short flight. I don't want to risk, you know, like a blood clot or something like that. Just sitting there and not being able to move. Hey there. Hello. I need information for our guests here. Gert Brownbottom, at your service. Gert Brownbottom. You saw Thaddeus early this morning. He went out at dawn. Said he had preparations to make for the wake. Did he come back? He did, shortly after, and remained since then. Thank you. At ease, soldier. All right, let's talk about this for a minute. Clearly, Thaddeus went out to the mausoleum very early. Preparations for the ceremony, nothing strange about that. But he came back to the keep right away. Listen to that music. And I told you I looked for him. He wasn't around. Also, we're pretty sure he never left town. Hmm. So he was inside. But there's another place you can go from the keep. The mines. Ooh. Why don't we take a look then? No, I didn't tear a muscle. I tore a meniscus. Meniscus is cartilage. Thanks, Steven. Thanks for hanging around. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, initial impressions of the DLC are pretty good so far. It's nothing too crazy amazing, but it's not poor either. If I ended up paying the whatever 15 bucks to buy it, I wouldn't regret it right now. I'm pretty excited to see what, uh, what some of these higher level spells are in this game. Whoa! Okay, so this looks pretty crazy. Holy crap. Looks like we're getting into some combat here, so I think this is probably a good a good stopping point for the first session for Celasta. And like I mentioned earlier, I probably won't be going live at my normal time, which is usually at 12 p.m. Eastern on Friday. I'm probably going to go live tomorrow night. That's the plan as of right now, because I should have a BG3 video coming out in the day. And um, I don't want to release the BG3 video on Saturday because then that puts it too close to the Sunday video and then that kind of mess with each other in the algorithm. So I want to leave a day space and I want to get this video out. So that's going to delay the stream until nighttime. And uh, we're either going to continue on with Celasta or possibly try Lord of the Rings Golem if I decide I want to spend $50. <laughs> it's a lot of money, man a lot of money for a game that's getting tanked in the reviews right now <clears throat> i wonder if i can email them and get it for free i wonder if they're giving out their game for free if they're not even doing that because they know that everybody's trash talking it a chevalier thank you the canadian 220 getting arthroscopy yes i am yep luckily that's a better type of surgery to get then uh, I don't know what the other term is for non-arthroscopy, where they cut you open. So yeah, so the recovery process should be fairly straightforward. You can refund it within the first two hours. Oh wait, maybe I could... Okay, so but the first two hours of when you purchase it though, right? Not first two hours of game time? How does that work? I could do an hour and a half long stream of Lord of the Rings Golem and, and refund it. I would definitely do that. That way, at least we can check it out. We can feel out the gameplay. I can get a video on it. Playtime. Shit. I'm going to look more into that. I might be buying it and then, ret and then refunding it. And a reviewer that got it for free. Said he paid too much. Asked them to watch your video from today, but skip the last five minutes. And I'm sure you'll get it for free. Metro. Complete edition. Should be free on Steam at the moment. Okay, thanks for letting us know. Got a feeling you'll be done after 10 minutes. Possibly. This is my first real time watching you play it. For Celasta, Shannon? 
all right you guys have a wonderful night thanks for hanging out thanks for hitting that thumbs up button on all the streams i appreciate you guys and to be continued tomorrow night be on the lookout for a new Baldur's gate 3 video around noon tomorrow it's actually a pretty cool video a lot of speculation in there but also like some calculated speculation i guess you guess you could say um larian released some pretty interesting stuff recently that i didn't get to in my video a few days ago so make sure to check it out peace out Well, I'm glad you could join, Shannon. I had open chest surgery last week. Oh my gosh, Pacific Noble. That is like, that is insane. Arthroscopy knee surgery is nothing. Like, I'm not even worried about it. It's just a pain in the ass. That, that's what I'm talking about. Open chest surgery, shit like that. Like, that shit's, that, that's the real deal. For me, it's just a pain in the ass. You know, medical expenses, the time it takes to get it done and not being able to walk that good. That's nothing. If I had to get open chest surgery, I'd be freaking out, man. I hope it... Uh, obviously, you must be doing all right. How you feeling? You feel okay now? I streamed... Uh, I streamed Celasta a couple years ago, Shannon, so that was a long time ago. But I did do... The, I did do, like, a few sessions of the DL... Oh, yeah, the, the other DLC, yeah. Celasta came out a few years ago. It's crazy how time flies. Eye surgery? Like... LASIK surgery? I know my dad got that. He, he said it wasn't too bad. Cardiac arrhythmia. Heard some people needing pacemakers. I really hope I don't. Praying for you, man. Went well. Bit of pain I have. Lots of morphine. So you be chilling right now? Well, damn, man. I'm glad it went well. As I feel you're sick and not streaming, that's no excuse. Turn on your OBS and get that stream started right now, okay? Oh, it's not just LASIK. Oh, damn, Shan. What are you sick with, I feel? Cold or something? Zoe has returned with a five pound super chat. I have returned, can't sleep, and it's just over. I miss so much. Sorry you can't sleep. Thanks for the five. And uh, good luck tomorrow. I hope things go well. Oh, you're in the hospital right now, Pacific. Chilling, watching, streaming with Subway in the hospital. Old sounds right? Yeah, that ain't that ain't no fun streaming. It's better not to stream if you feel like shit. Unless it's like an important day, like a game release or something where I'll suck it up. Like generally speaking, it's usually not that good because your personality is not going to be the same. You're going to be more irritated and people won't like it and new people will come in and they'll not want to come back. So that would be a good call. Arctic, what's up? Encore? Tomorrow night will be the Encore, hopefully. I have to lift my eyeball up and out to be able to... I don't even know what I just read, Shannon, but that is batshit crazy. Holy hell. Well, the good thing is... You'll be out for all of it, but that is just thinking about that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Why don't you let Volo do it? I heard Volo is a good eye surgeon. Why not do karaoke? I don't do karaoke. Karaoke's a free water thing. He's the man at it. Damn, sorry you gotta go through that, Shannon. That sucks. I had arthroscopy last year because I had a collapsed lung. Oh, that's not, not arthroscopy. Thoris, thoracocoscopy? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what that word is. Had to be five days in the hospital recovering. Damn. 
Okay, everybody have a wonderful night, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thanks for the donos tonight. Zoe, Chevalier, where's my tarts? Shadowin, Leda, thank you for the five.